you guys the Buckeye breakdown for the top prospects in the 2020 NFL draft from Ohio State. It was certainly an interesting conversation. I talked to Harry Miller, the freshman center. It was his first time addressing the media this week, but he certainly did not disappoint. So many interesting stories with him. And this week I'm taking you inside the huddle as he talks with me about getting more playing time. Is he kind of the new Buckeye bullet? What's going on there? You know what, Clay? He won't admit it, but he yeah. might be the bullet. He had a big play against Penn State last week. Very similar to what he had against this team up north sure. last year in yeah. the shoe. End zone strips the ball away from the tight end. It's big plays like that. Why you want to go to Ohio State. They had you at Woody Hayes and you were giving a speech. What were those words of wisdom you gave to the team? Um, you just can't appreciate what you have until it's gone. So new coach Ryan Day, you've worked with him before. What are you seeing from him this season that you're really enjoying? Well, Coach Day. Justin Fields went down in the Michigan game and all of Buckeye Nation had a bit of a scare. But Justin said earlier this week that he never really gets scared when it comes to football games. He just kind of expects it. But also you guys, he said that he was prepared. He's been practicing with a brace on. There was a smaller one and a larger one. Justin did confirm that he'll be in the larger brace today. Well, he said that a mentor that he met at Nicaragua was from Dayton, an Ohio guy. He said, you got to go check out Ohio State. And when he got there, he told his mom, he said, I could get struck by lightning if I don't sign today. And so right. that's how he knew huh. that this was his university and he was going to be a Buckeye. That. You talked about wanting to replace the Bosa name. Huh. Is that still on your mind all the time when you're out there on the field? I wouldn't even say replacing <laughs> the Bosa name. I Lots of national attention. You've even been called a generational talent. Talent. What is the legacy you want to leave at Ohio State? I kind of just want to, I guess, uphold the legacy of the corners that came, the bar that guys before me set. You've been compared to some big names, Jalen Ramsey, and, you know, you are setting your own journey. What would you want people to remember Jeff Okuda for? No, I kind of want to It was just last year that this was the home to two defensive coaches, Greg Madison and Al Washington Jr., who were part of Jim Harbaugh's staff. They were two key pieces in what was then the top-ranked defense. It adds a new wrinkle into what is the biggest rivalry because now those coaches will be lined up across the field from the players they recruited and the coaches they call their co-workers. Well, Ohio State is making their return to the field after the bye week. They got a little banged up after Michigan State, but having this off week helps them adjust to a shorter schedule. They're playing on a Friday night, and during that off week, Coach Day had the players write down three things that they needed to work on. He seems to be confident but not cocky. That's, that's right. He is a leader. He's very mature for his age. That's something yeah. I definitely gather, especially talking with media. But he said all of this chemistry was built in practice. They're staying over hours. They felt like they were playing catch up. Mm -hmm. They got a new quarterback. They got a new coach, new coaches right. on defense. Lots of changes needed to be made. So when they're working overtime, it kind of put them ahead of the game because they didn't slow down. And it, it well, Rodney, Luke Fickle has been to this stadium many times. But only one other time as a visitor. He'll be coming through that visitor's entrance. The only other time is when he was coaching for the University of Akron. Well, guys, the defense is suffering a major loss in two star players today. Jonathan Cooper told me he's still waiting till he's back to 100%. And as we know, Chase Young is dealing with the ineligibility issue. But that opens the door for some young guys to shine. Tyler Friday is back, Tyreek Smith, Javon Jean Baptiste. And make sure you guys look out for number 33, Zach Harrison. He's a young freshman from the area. He's a Lewis Center kid. He's played in all eight games. He's had 1.5 sacks and three tackles for loss. Definitely a big, big shoes to fill for Chase Young, but he's definitely got the confidence from his teammates. They're expecting it from him. Chase Young even said he's a freak. He's got the speed and the strength, and he won't be surprised if he excels in this game. On January 26, the world lost a legend when a helicopter crash took the lives of Kobe Bryant, his daughter Gigi, and seven others. Tributes were made as many shared their Kobe story. Your previous team, Georgia, who you guys were tied with in the bye week, mm -hmm. fell to South Carolina. You were talking about it. You had some emotions for them. But Ryan Day, your coach, said that it just shows you how fragile success is in college football. Mm -hmm. How do you respond to that? I mean, yeah, at the time, really. And finally, Ohio State played Northwestern in the Big Ten Championship last season. They look like a very different team struggling. Is there anything that stood out to you when you guys are looking at film? It's all fun and games. I got to know. We talked about it at Big Ten Media Day. When you're trying to study and this guy's over there just trying to play around with you, Always. what is it like at home during that? So distracting. <laughs> but, um, our defense was flying around. We were having fun. You are not a stranger to having fun. I talked to Jordan Fuller last weekend. Hey, you're a roommate. Now, he was yeah. telling me he puts you in timeout when you're trying to give him a hard time when he's working. <laughs> Tell me about the timeout he puts you in. Feel for me. <laughs> 
He don't do that, man. He tripping. They talk about this 2K battle that they have. And I will let you guys know, I took it to a test on Instagram. Jordan Fuller actually won the 2K battle. The with studious. Only, yes. It should be an interesting offseason for the Dallas Mavericks as they look to build their roster. Make sure you guys check all the latest updates right here at Dallas Sports Fanatic. I'm your host, Stephanie Oti, and I will catch you next time.